Okay, good morning. Uh, well, morning to me anyway. Uh, it's Bama Dave over here. It's uh, the 24th of August uh, down here in the swamp, and it's uh, a little cooler than it has been. It's still going to be kind of hot today and muggy, of course, but uh, we're out here anyway. And I got my first good target with the GPX uh, down in the hole here. I don't know if you can see that. But I just got a... Uh, just got a uh, hard rammed uh, mini ball. You can see the maybe maybe there was two of them in there. I don't know where it was where that barrel was really fouled, but you can see that really distinct uh, hard ramming pressure mark from the ramrod on that bullet. But uh, other than that, it's not too deformed, so that was that's a good find. We'll take that and keep going. Okay, well, I just got a nice good uh, high tone, and uh, GPX is saying it's still in the hole, so. Let's go in and see if we can find it. Ah, quit acting up. That's right here somewhere. Hang on. Oh wait, there it is, right there. Get out of the way. It is a another fired mini, so we'll take that and keep going. I brought my buddy Mark with me today. He's out here with the Knox. How you doing? A few bullets. Yeah, and he's working on something now. Any drops? Are they all fired? I can't tell. Ah, it looks so hard. That one. They're in good shape though. Those are good shape. Better ones I'm finding. Mine are pretty hard impact. So good. Heck, I might come over here. Got yeah, there's something down here. About something's about seven, eight inches down in the hole. They're usually right at the bottom of that, right before you get to that yellow clay. Wow, you've got about a bazillion mosquitoes on your back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see those things. They're eating him up. You want some of the spray? You got it? Uh-uh. mixed in with the iron so it, I don't know if I'm vibrating on the iron or what. Bullet? Yeah. yeah. Hard bullet. Oh you got it. There it is. That one definitely hit something. So all right. Here you go Mark. Okay, well, I came over here to where Mark was finding a few things. I, mine was kind of quiet over there, so I came over here. I got a good bullet signal right here somewhere. If I can dig it out. It's right there. There it is. Just see it. Oh yeah, that's good. That one's in good shape. It might be dropped. I think it is, matter of fact. That's good. First nice looking bullet I found today. That I'll clean up good. So, hey, getting a few. So we'll come back to you. Not a bullet. You got a bayonet. It's, um, what do you got? It's something like a a nail. A big spike. It is a, yeah. Nail? Definitely Confederate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked Mark to come listen to a sound and he came over and started bottom fishing by me. And look what he's dug. What you got, Mark? Oh, uh, another looks like a... Nice drop. Yeah, three ringer, I guess. Look at that. Looks like that might have been field cast there. They got a little tip on it, maybe. That's nice. I won't dig by you anymore. Man, I'm just messing with you. You know that. <laughs> Come listen to this sound. See if it's. See if it's. I probably got a piece of iron. Mark got a bullet. <laughs> okay, so I just did a comparison with the GPX versus the Knox 600. Um, 
and this bullet there there it is right where it came out of at the same depth it came out of and you can see it's almost it's you know just an inch shy of being the depth of the leshy and to the knocks it sounded like iron the GPX said it was a bullet and it was a bullet so uh, there it is right there it's been fired maybe that's why it had a little bit of a squirrely sound to it but the knocks every time said it was a piece of iron and the GPX said it was a bullet and did not lie so that's why this thing out here in this hunted out site you know the easy things a lot of them have been gone but these deeper bullets are still here if you have the technology to get them out so we're gonna cover this hole up and see if we can find something else all right well, we're hunting our way back out to the truck but i thought i'd stop for a second this old civil war road is right up here above me it's about head high to me right now and so i'm standing on what's called the military crest that's the crest of the ridge and this is the military crest the area where you can stand up without being silhouetted on the horizon so when i'm in a place like this i usually like to hunt about 20 feet down on this military crest and a lot of times this is where you'll find your drops because the soldiers have cover from stuff going overhead just like that they got cover because they're down below that crest of the hill and this is where you find drops uh, I've done that at several places and uh, had success doing it so that's kind of what I, we were doing here today and Mark found a few drops I got one uh, up along here there's probably a lot more of them a long time ago but we're just picking up the scraps but there's a tip for you the military crest come back to you okay so we're going to do a little wrap up here at the tailgate and i'll start with mark's finds here he's got uh one two three four five six seven eight bullets and some assorted junk and a nail that we hunted on for it'll take about 15 minutes to dig that up pretty deep and i got uh five well six bullets if you want to count that beat up round ball so uh so not too bad, about 14, 15 bolts between the two of us. So. Good hunt, did you have fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun, let's do it again. Yeah, me too. All right, let's go home, get in there.